Last night, we told you about the most famous nine-year-old in America, a young Kansas City Chiefs fan dressed up for a game against the Raiders. All he did was everything that diehard fans do. He painted his face, threw on the headgear, and went to the stadium with his family. No different than what you see every weekend in Arrowhead and Vegas and Pittsburgh. But male Karen at Deadspin only showed half his face, the black half and accused the nine-year-old of wearing blackface. Quote, he found a way to hate black people and Native Americans at the same time. And the media piled on. The kid is still in full racist garb. The only part of him that's not intentionally kind of racist is the black part. The rest is team colors and he's going for just being a fan. But the racism is already in there, just not the kind that the right is picking up and flogging deadspin with over a five-year-old kid. Like, the stupidity of this is remarkable. It feels like we're in the Vegas residency phase of, like, uh, you know, racism. And that guy, Dan Lebetard, who accused the nine-year-old of racism, wore the exact same face paint on his face last year. There he is. That's how ridiculous this story is. And the blackface hoax gets even more ridiculous the more we learn. Here's the nine-year-old Chiefs fan posing with the Raiders cheerleaders. Do any of them look like they think he's racist? I only see smiling faces. And when the young fans started a tomahawk chop, the Chiefs players joined in. <laughs> I'm just having such a hard time keeping track of all this racism. But it gets even more ridiculous. The mother of the young fan is saying her son is Native American. It turns out Holden Armenta, the nine-year-old getting slandered, has Native American blood. His family lineage, the Chumash tribe. They hail from California, an ancient people with a rich history on the Pacific coast. Holden and his family used to live on the Chumash reservation. So if anyone's entitled to paint their face and wear a headdress to a Chiefs game, it's Holden. Here's Holden at the Super Bowl last year. Holden can wear whatever he wants, and Americans can wear whatever we want. We agree, and Kansas City agrees, too. It's why the Chiefs fans are planning to wear black and red face paint to the next game, to show support for Holden, who's not only a proud Kansas City Chiefs fan, he's a proud Chumash Indian. Let's bring in Holden Armenta and his father, Bubba. So, Bubba, what was going through your mind the second you found out your son had been targeted like this? Um, it's it's been a lot. It's been a pretty crazy couple of days. Um, I was mad, upset, upset for him, um, mad that he's upset. He's um. He's pretty devastated. I mean, he's seen the videos and everything posted. He's excited. He's all over. It's, it was his dream to get on the Jumbotron. And I've had family and friends call and, oh, we saw you on, on uh, Sunday Night Football. So he's excited. But then everything else came up, and it's uh, been a little bit of a spiral. Holden, how are you feeling right now? Um, It's okay because a lot of... Kids at school are getting excited, but it's starting to get me a little nervous because if they go a little bit overboard, it's a little scary. I bet it's scary. It can be a very overwhelming experience. How has the community been in terms of support? Um, okay, so far. Good, and you're a football guy, right? Don't you have practice in a few yeah. minutes? Yeah, yeah, we're getting ready to head out the door for all-star practice. What position do you play? Wide receiver and free safety. That's amazing. And how big of a Chiefs fan are you? Really big. And what does it mean? Because we went to the Raiders Go Chiefs ahead. game last year, too. Nice. And what does it mean now that you're feeling all this love from Chiefs Nation? Everyone's going to be wearing red and black on their faces next Sunday. Really good. 
So Bubba, he, he, you're... he asked me ten minutes. He asked me ten minutes ago if he can paint his face before we go live. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he can do whatever he wants. He's a he's a great patriot. He's a great American, and he's a great fan. And everybody loves Holden. But it, Karen over at Deadspin doesn't. Bubba, would you like an apology? What would you like from Karen at Deadspin? You know, I. I don't even what, know what to think about that. It's kind of, it's a little too late for that. Um, the damage is already done. It's, you know, worldwide. Now there's comments all over. There's, you know, disrespect towards Native Americans and towards my family. Um, we never in any way, shape, or form meant to disrespect any Native Americans or any tribes. Um, the tribe we're from doesn't even wear that type of headdress. Um, we it this specific headdress is is a, a novelty piece. It's a it's a costume piece. That's a exactly what we had purchased it for and and wore it for. Not in any disrespect towards any Native Americans at all. And um, it's just it's been a whirlwind of of comments coming either even from from other tribes from tribal members um some think it's okay some think it's not okay um it's a nine-year-old boy supporting his team and you're going to be wearing the black and the red in i guess every sunday for as long as you're alive i bet holden yep forever huh Who's your favorite player on the Chiefs? Patrick Mahomes. Uh, my Eagles beat your Chiefs a couple weeks back. Um, I uh, mean, you, you guys did beat us in the Super Bowl, but I think we're going to see you again in the Super Bowl. Yeah. That'll be good, huh? Now, if, we, if, we, if we're back in the Super Bowl together, the Eagles and the Chiefs, you want to have a little bet, Holden? Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll do a bet. And uh, if the Chiefs win, you're going to get something very special. And if the Eagles win, we'll figure that out. How's that sound? Yeah. All right. Can I get a chop? There you go. Holden Bubba, we love you guys. Good luck at practice. Good luck for the rest of the season okay. until the Super Bowl. How's that? Thank, thank you, thank Jesse. You. We really appreciate the opportunity tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.